loves welcome to my morning routine i thought i could run you guys through what i'm trying to do to create structure and routine in my life while in lockdown i know lockdown has been really tough especially this time around and it has definitely messed with my sleeping pattern and my just routine and structure in life so this is my current morning routine so i hope it gives you guys some inspiration and helps you out whether you're in lockdown or not so yeah let's get into it It is currently 8 o'clock. I am going to hop back into bed now and read a chapter or two of the book that I'm currently reading because I am kind of addicted at the moment. So I'm going to do that before starting the rest of my day. But hi, welcome to my morning routine. One thing I've been trying to avoid is going on my phone and scrolling first thing in the morning. It can be really hard to not do that, but I find I can just feel a bit more nervous and overwhelmed in my day if I start my day by scrolling my phone. So one thing I've been trying to do is reach for my book instead. Whether it's one chapter or a few pages, I haven't been a big reader most of my life, but lockdown has definitely got me into reading a little bit and I'm really enjoying it, especially this book. So yeah, this is my ideal morning routine when I have some time and I can take things slowly and get all that I want done before starting my day officially. But for now, I need some food in my system. That's one big thing. And today I'm gonna to have a hot lemon water instead of a coffee with my breakfast and have a coffee after my workout. So yeah, there we go. Today my body was really craving some hot lemon water and I just listened to it. Sometimes I just need something a bit lighter than coffee first thing in the morning, whether it's water or something hot. It's particularly cold here at the moment so a hot drink was exactly what I needed and it actually felt great having this before my breakfast and before any coffee. It has been very rainy and miserable here for about the last week and I would love to see some sun but alas it is still raining. <laughs> So yeah, this past year I've become much more of a breakfast person than ever. Most mornings it's something I get kind of excited about and I like to try out some new things. Well, I tend to eat the same breakfast most of the time, but it's still really nice. Today I had scrambled eggs on a bagel, which is something I've been really loving recently. It's just nice and warm and cozy and definitely very filling, so I really enjoy that. So I am back upstairs. I have some water and I'm about to sit down and do some yoga. There's a morning yoga video online that I really like and it's yoga by Adrienne. I find her videos really good because there's just so many different kinds. If you're looking for yoga when you're sore or if you're tired or anything as such, she has a video on it. So yeah, I'm gonna do a morning meditation and yoga session and then write my journal for a little bit. Just have a little bit of a zen, chill time before I have to do my lecture and go to that. It's still currently very miserable and rainy outside, so it looks like it'll be a walk in the rain today. <laughs> 
I've been trying to move my body more and one thing my body loves and I love is yoga. It's something I can do in my bedroom and it's just really nice to stretch. Especially a slow yoga in the morning is really nice because I find I can be really tight and tense after a sleep. I don't know what I do in my sleep but I sometimes just wake up with sore muscles and I'm aching. So it's just nice to stretch that out and following yoga I like to do some meditation. I think it's really important to take a minute for myself and for my thoughts to just focus on them and take a breather before starting the rest of my day. I'm also journaling much more than I was before. Sometimes I use prompts from Pinterest that just give me some ideas of what to write that day and then some days I'll just write out all of my emotions and how I'm feeling. So at this point it's time to do a little bit of tidying around. I just like my space to be nice and clear so I'm going to do a bit of tidying in here and then a bit of tidying in the bathroom. I also got new flowers the other day for myself and I want to put them in a new vase properly so that is what I'm going to do and I'm excited. It is now time for some skincare. I'm definitely trying to remember to do my skincare every day. Sometimes it totally slips my mind. But yeah, it's really important for me to just get that dirt off my face and wake myself up with a bit of skincare. I definitely feel much fresher after I do it and much more ready and prepped for the day. Sometimes I find it really hard to pull myself out of the house to get out for a walk and the hardest part is actually just getting out. Usually once I'm out I really enjoy it. It's just really nice to spend time with myself or listening to a podcast or an audiobook. I look like a complete egg but we're just gonna have to work with it because I'm about to go for my walk and I'm kind of looking forward to it. I just need a bit of fresh air and as you guys probably understand lockdown is just ugh and a daily walk is probably the only kind of exciting thing. I'm also going to get myself some ice cream for later on because I have this weird ice cream like craving at the moment. I don't understand why but yeah so I'm gonna get ice cream and come back but i want to show you guys the shoes i'm gonna wear on my walk because i'm only doing like a quick walk because it's raining i i'm gonna wear a new pair of shoes that i got recently that i haven't got to show you guys yet and it's fabulous okay hold on look literally the most stunning shoes i'll ever own but yeah i'm gonna wear these because I haven't got to wear them yet and it would just be nice to put them on so yeah let's go I'm kind of excited because I tie my shoelaces really badly like I just learned incorrectly but I've been learning how to do them properly recently and I just did them properly go me
I tend to go down to the sea, which is really lucky for me that I live near it. I just find it really therapeutic. Listening to the waves brings me a lot of joy. After I come home from a walk, it's about time for some coffee. I love my coffee, you guys know this at this point, but it's such a ritual for me. I love to drink my coffee while watching YouTube. This is kind of like the final step in my morning routine before I have to really actually get up and get some college work done or some work done. When I finish the coffee, I know it's time to get up and get started into my work day. But it's definitely a very peaceful time and I find YouTube really inspiring and definitely makes me feel good. So yeah, that's basically it. That's my morning routine. That brings me right up to about lunchtime some days. I don't get this done every single day. I wish I did. But on days where I can do this full routine, I really try to. And other days when I can't get it done, I try to do at least three things from it. I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration and I had lots of fun filming it. But I will see you guys next week and thank you so much for watching.